Start it off. Congrats on the new year. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I've gone to see the first uh, four episodes. It is as hilarious as always. Uh, and I did want to kind of start with just this. Show, I've, I've, I'm just telling off in person. I have stopped writing articles trying to predict where the new season of this show is going to go because I'm wrong 110% of the time. Uh, but like this, this series can do and will do anything and everything to you guys. Uh, got it in this crawl for it. You've got to walk on December the first time every year. Where is part of that? Like at the start of a season and what we're doing with Shadow. What is like, all right, maybe we're going to space. Maybe we're going to see the, uh, maybe I'm going to trade bodies with the puppet. Maybe I'm just going to run for Tom Troller. Like what, what is, what are we, what goes through your guys' minds every time? I mean, usually dread. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're, you know, we read these and we're like, oh no, are we going too far? Is, is, are people going to, are we jumping the shark? You always worry about jumping the shark in television. Um, and so it's not until we start into production and, and it all comes together when you can actually see, oh no, this is actually going to work and be really, really funny. I love, I mean, on, I don't really worry about jumping the shark because I think my shark's already jumped and my shark jumped long ago. That's so true. Like, that is true. I'm always quite, <laughs> I'm always kind of delighted with every, you know, every, you know, they send us the script and then we have to sit down and kind of do a, a reading of it. And then, you know, they change bits. But most of the time, I think we're all quite excited about what we read and, you know, we look forward to actually putting it on its feet. I don't want to speak for everyone else. That's just me. I'll just speak no, for me. No, I, I love it. I love it when, when you're like reading a script, especially like there, I think there's an episode in this season where Nandor goes to space and I was just like, come on, are you crying? Like that entire episode <laughs> had been so insane and then he goes to space and then quite often we'll do a read of all the scripts that we're about to film in that block and then we'll film them and you kind of forget and then cut to like, so you'd read the scripts about two weeks ago. You've been filming. So you've been completely distracted. Cut to like, oh, Kayvan's behind me and he's naked. Why is he naked? Oh, right. Because he's been in space. in space. And it's like that. You There's so often on this show where you kind of stop and pinch yourself and you're like, I will never see us this much ridiculousness around me ever again on a show. Like I'm never going to see like Mark in camo gear, Kayvan naked the guide with the Baron and a small car, you know, just stuff like that. It's like, I, why the show's amazing. I, I, I think. Maybe I have the dread because I get railed by Laszlo this year. So maybe that's my concern about jumping the shark. <laughs> yeah. no, but that's oh, just, God. that's not jumping the shark. That's just drawing from your and Matt's real life and your real relationship. I know, but to see it on screen. Oh, see in the green room. For, for, for history's purposes, you know, it's, it's so that the ages coming can remember how much Mark likes to make your life hell. Uh, <laughs> uh, Kayvon, I, Natasha, you brought it up actually because I really wanted to ask, Kayvon, how fun is it to go to space? <laughs> What's that fucking kill, Nick? It's actually filming it and doing the whole, you know, they suspend you on a big wire and you're in a green screen. And, you know, you look down and there's like 50 members of the crew just looking at you, waiting for you to do something funny. Um, and sometimes you pull it off and other times you don't. And then there's just 50 faces looking blankly at you going, is that it? Is this what we're all here for? Um, it was fun to, to shoot. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't even, does it look real? Does it look? It's so, it's so funny. It looks so oh, good. Yeah. It looks oh, good. great. Good. I'm glad. It, no, really... Just the shot of you float, floating away into the background. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm looking forward to that. That was fun to film. That was fun to, to film. And then Natasha, like, uh, Nadia, the last few seasons, you know, there was a Vampira Cancel, there was the, the club last season. This year, she kind of gets a little bit more, I, I don't want to say down to earth, because you're all, you know, drinking the blood of people. No, I, I don't know if that's just really a real the show. But there's a lot more of a kind of human element, a lot more human interruptions for not, especially kind of finding the connections to a, to a kind of home and in, looking in stuff in Ireland. Uh, what was it like to kind of take the character back down a little closer to earth this year, kind of compared to last two seasons, where you were literally like kind of commanding the back of the reports? I, I actually think, I mean... It, 
I feel like the whole season this season was quite a quite a little bit more of like because the last season you know we were in the nightclub in the night market it was all kind of within a vampiric world whereas this season I felt like you know we were at the mall the sort of controller storyline um hanging out at restaurants I don't know I just felt like it was a lot more like vampires vampires on the town and that is really fun especially this is like a really basic thing to say but when I like when you see everyone appear in their costumes, but we're on like a street in Toronto or in like a mall, it really reminds you you're filming a show about like mythical ancient creatures as opposed to, you know, when you're in the house and stuff, it, it sometimes feels like, you know, it's just a sitcom. But I like doing that stuff because the juxtaposition of the, sh the stuff that we're doing in the kind of modern day setting, I think really like emphasizes how like the the essence of the show, which is like these freaks living in modern day America. So I liked it. I love bringing it down to earth. Oh, I'm just so awful. And then the Honda of course has the most literal version of coming back down to earth. Uh, I cannot get over the space. That was one of my favorite parts of the episode so far. Uh, Mark, you actually get the, because I got to speak to you at Comic-Con last year about the fact that uh, filming last season for you was interesting. Uh, this year got to be uh, not baby Colin. Uh, what was it like kind of being on set again and not only getting to be on set and interact with everybody fully again, but also getting to explore more of what the energy vampire, I guess, society side of things works. I'm trying my very best not to spoil everything. Yeah. Uh, but, but, uh, but was it like kind of getting to play with that element again and kind of get to play fully with the cast again? Oh, it was so fun to be back uh, working with these guys in, you know, in person. Uh, when I did Baby Colin, I was, you know, mostly back in Los Angeles. And so I, I missed getting to uh, play off of these, these my fellow uh, castmates. And so it was really fun being back and getting to goof around and, uh, uh enjoy myself and hear you know all the disgusting jokes that these guys tell in between takes and uh, and being humiliated by them uh in the flesh was really nice uh all three of you have gotten five years now to kind of experiment and play and to explore these characters and that's not something to sneeze or that's especially in modern television that's really kind of a blessing so for all three of you, uh, looking back to when you first signed on to the show, when you kind of set them in the world for the first time, and now where now where they've grown, how they've gained, how they've evolved, what would you say has surprised you the most about these characters? Like what has really kind of caught you about like, oh, I didn't think that this was going to be an element of this of this role, of this performance, and now you can't imagine doing this character without that. Um, I think I I thought I would just get better and better and better. At playing Nandor, but I think I peaked about two seasons ago and it's been downhill <laughs> ever since. <laughs> I'm, I'm phoning this shit in, life. man. I am phoning this shit in on a daily basis and I don't even mean to anymore. I'm really <laughs> trying and it's not making anything better. I leave those ADRs depressed as shit, man. I gotta pick myself up off the floor. I'm like, I thought that was good. Oh, God, what are you doing? Oh, God. Anyway, watch this space. <laughs> uh, oh, I will yeah, say God. that I, I, I don't know. I find it in, this isn't really a very interesting answer, but it is my, my <laughs> response to your question. I would say that I've obviously never had the experience of playing a character more and more. So I was the opposite to Kayvan. Like, <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm often shocked that the writers can keep finding different stuff for the character to do and so effortlessly and you're like, oh, she's in a Greek cafe, she's in a club, so she's got a doll, whatever it is. And that, and I would say the same for Kayvan and um, he's being too hard on himself. Like, I, I'm shocked for all the characters that you're like, you did it again, we're doing this now. And it doesn't seem boring or it doesn't seem you know, like treading over new ground. So, yeah, I would say it's, it's. I doubt I will ever, you know, I mean, 
I doubt I'll ever work again. No, I just doubt I will ever be able to be in a, a show that maybe lasts this long, maybe. So it's a really amazing thing to to learn about and to like experience being able to come back. Yeah, time and time and again. And I think for all of us, this was like our, really our first show where we've gone this long with the same people. Um, and, you know, on screen and off screen, there's, there's a long time to settle in. And I feel like these last couple of seasons, we finally have settled in and it's, I, I, I think we have a lot more fun playing off of each other. And now that we know who we are, uh, you know, for most, I, I came on not knowing anyone on the, on, in the cast. Um, I'm very famous in America, but I'm joking. Um, no, it was, it was interesting coming into a show where I don't know anyone. Usually in the States, I'll know, you know, if, if not an actor or the, you know, the hair and makeup person or someone on the crew, this was the first time I came in completely cold. And it, it's surprising how that affects how you perform. And so it take, it took uh, for me a while to settle in. And now I feel like we're, you know, we're, we're shooting on all cylinders. Is that right? Shooting on all? No. Firing, firing on all cylinders. Firing on all cylinders. And it's easy to slip into, you know, uh, working just with Harvey or working just with uh, Kayvon or Tosh. And each time you get to do that and have your own episode with someone, it's fun. And you get to explore each other's character a little more and or not and just phone it in. <laughs> this is more to the cave on walking around set in the sweat bonds from that door last year. But no, but you're supposed to be kind of outfit now. No, I'm always like this now. Uh, <laughs> you're off of my cave on the top. So thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. I am a huge, huge fan of the show. So, and you got uh, you two cave on a mark. You knew this. I love you guys so much. The dodging is so nice. I can get to plan the to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. Always a pleasure. That's Always very a pleasure, Brandon. Thank you. Thank you.